while folks from Florida have had Georgia on their mind. Make that the Georgia Dome, which on this New Year's Eve will be wall to wall, floor to ceiling with fans from the Sunshine State. For those of you who put excitement atop your resolutions list, start a day early with the Gators and Hurricanes. It's the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl on ESPN. We're in Atlanta, Georgia, where the title best team in Florida is on the line as old acquaintances meet under the big dome. Florida, after a tumultuous season, enters the game on a hot streak, winning their last three, while senior quarterback Brock Berlin plays his final game for the Hurricanes against his former team, the Gators. Before midnight strikes, here's one last year-end list for you. The best specs for a great bowl game. How about two proud teams? The Gators and Canes. Each with something to prove after subpar seasons. Each with added incentive. For a coach dismissed. And a senior leader who will be missed. And each with a deep in the bones dislike for each other. Vying for the title. Best team in Florida. As the clock winds down in 2004, count on this. Florida-Miami will be one heck of a party in the Peach Bowl. They'll give it to Gore right at the middle. Small hole breaks through at 30. Out to the 33. It'll... Good pass. The ball is blocked. Picked up, and that's Hester. Hester up the sideline. You're not going to catch him. 30, count it off, 20, 15, 10, 5, into the end zone. And the flag has gone down, and that's going to be for the celebration from the 15 on in. And it'll cost him just that, 15 yards. Yeah, but Ron Nate, Miami with a big play. Florida, mistake on the sideline, substituting, not having the right guys on the football field. Hester wisely picks it up, and you're right. You're not going to catch him. Look at the foot race. I mean, there was no foot race. Hester is just, he is so explosive. 79 yards on this one. Both kick returns and also punt returns. And look at Larry Coker, and he knows just what we were talking about, and that is you're not going to catch him once you get in the foot race. Give up the block, and it goes seven. That's a 14-point turnaround. Leak stepping up under pressure. Flag is down, and he'll be sacked at the 32. Pata. Boy, he's already been there a couple of times to make big plays, and it's going to be holding against the Florida Gators. On the second and 14, Leap now dropping back. Hit, going to be sacked. He'll move it forward to the 25-yard line. This time it's Thomas Carroll. And I mean Miami now is getting into track stance and just coming, and I'm surprised because this group is not from the SEC. Colin is off the ball, the left tackle. He... Uh, he's not even on the line of scrimmage. Actually, Anthony Guerrero that time. Like a house of fire. Now it's just grinding almost to a halt. Leak steps up. Going to be hit. And he was sacked by Naughton. Javon Naughton. The third time that they've gotten to him here in the opening quarter. Miami has got about ten guys within three and a half of the line of scrimmage. And Basin is going to be hit and tackled at the line of scrimmage. It does give more protection. This time, Leak will take it from under center. Loses the ball as he started to throw it, and he does the only thing he can do. It was Natten who was there to apply pressure and just touchdown. Miami, there's the first first down. Frank Gore is going to break it out out of the 30-yard line to around the 34. And Berlin got a man wide open. Goes at the 40-yard line. It's Hill, Padrine Hill, who plays both tailback and fullback. The junior out of Sunrise, Florida. Fakes it to him. Going to go on top. And intercepted, and that is picked off by Hester. Watch the speed. Hester will run out of bounds at the 34-yard line. He's too high on this pass. So they trade turnovers. And Devin Hester, I'd use him on offense. Uh, this, this guy's got great hands. In. He's as Mike. exciting a player in the country. But you saw why Randy Shannon said, hey, we've got to use him on defense, too. He's getting a lot better as a defensive player. Wow. But boy, when he makes a pickoff, you better gather some folks that are hurt. 
He had returned to 29 before they knew what was happening. Berlin, near sideline, got it complete. Pushed out of bounds. Ryan Moore, 47-yard attempt. He got plenty of distance on it, and he got it. 47 yards on the field goal. Let's take a timeout. Our new score, 10-3 Miami. Just under six to play. Good. It's a high driving kick. Going to go four yards deep in the end zone. Going to be brought out by McCollum. McCollum at the 10 is thinking, boy, it was a good idea about eight seconds ago. Yeah, everything Florida is trying to do, special teams, offense, jumping off sides. Driving spiral. The only problem, this is very returnable. Parrish on the run. 30, 35, 40. Look out. He's gone. Counting goodbye. 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Miami. Two special teams touchdowns. This is real time, and watch what happens. As I said, only problem, line drive kick returnable. First wave, broken. He's gone right there. It's over. Kick is going to be taken at the goal line, and that's Caldwell. Whoa, what a hit. Good heavens. Hello. Hello, 2005. Whew. Darnell Jenkins. Darnell's a wide receiver. <laughs> Sent him a card for New Year's. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Great thing is that uh, Caldwell got up and... and Hunter Roll had five for Miami. Williams also had five. Pass deep over the middle and got it. Roscoe Parrish at the 47-yard line of Florida. Good for 18 yards. Uh, his hand down put him at defensive end because of his mobility. Well, the end zone. Touchdown. Ryan Moore, 20 yards. But that is the first offensive touchdown of the night by Miami. Moore grabs it, a 20-yard toss, and a very happy Brock Berlin. Faison gets the handoff. They have the reverse, and the tackle is made in Cornelius by Ori and Harris immediately. Sudden, there's a third party there that was not supposed to be there. Watch it happen. Bang, bang. Whoa. The body language of this Florida football team. Neat since the third quarter. Late in the second quarter has not been good. Scott Thornton in the backfield. Steps up, going to try to run, and there is not much there for Chris Leak as Baraka Atkins. This is the Miami of old where they're playing tonight, Mike, and the fact that they're not having to bring their backers. I don't remember more than once in the first half that they really did blitz, and the front four is taking care of business. Well, they really are. Now Florida's trying to pick up the tempo. Third down and 14, and that's uh, Scott Thornton trying to high step over a tackler. Tyrone Moss comes into the ballgame at tailback. End around Roscoe Parrish, and Roscoe's going to have about eight yards in the play. It's coming from special teams. But play action by Berlin rolls the pocket, drills the ball perfectly thrown, and he's going to get a very generous spot on this. Just let me know where you read it. I'll believe it. Whatever. Moss left side turns the corner. Look at the stiff arm. Almost picks up a first down on the uh, sky cam on this play. See exactly what it looks like directly from behind. Play action. Pass over the middle. Got his man open. Inside the 25 is Buck Ortega, the tight end. Berlin right over the middle. Got Leggett. Leggett 40, 45, 50. Finally pushed out of bounds. He'll stop the clock as it runs into double zeros. And I think we're about to ha handle the, the third quarter, put it into record books, and say, let's head to the final 15. 29 yards in the pass play. And as we break, 24 to 10, the Miami Hurricanes on top. We'll be right back. Berlin. 
Drills it complete. And it's Roscoe Parrish who comes back and does a nice job again of about 12. And it'll move the chains again. Seven yarder. This one is going to be a 32 yards near hash mark. And he splits it. That's a perfect kick right down the middle. So let's take a break. 11.52 left of the ball game. New score. 27 to 10 Miami. It and handled it very well. And uh, I'm sure that's what Larry's talking about. Here's Gore, very close to the first down, out at the 32. Travis Harris making keep this drive going. Chris Lee steps up. Here comes pressure, and it's from McCray who just came into the ball game. But the ball is thrown and knocked away. It is incomplete, and it's Antrell Roll working against O.J. Small. Three very poor play calls, really, and very executed poorly. Who's getting stepped on? Play action. Far sideline got it complete gambled and Roscoe Parrish made the catch and he's going to pick up another 20 yards in the play as Everett finally made the stop National Coach of the Year award Leak just throws this one away to get out home. No, that thing may have been intercepted. He tried to throw it away Did he keep his feet in bounds Ball is going to come back out to the 20 yard line, and it's Kelly Jennings. Look what a job. He was trying to throw that ball away, and Jennings planted his toes and made the interception. Ron, that, that kind of signifies the whole evening for Chris Leak. Canes, and they will continue their dominance over the other two schools in the state of Florida. Takes the knee, Berlin, with two fingers high in the air, and it's going to be a 27 to 10 victory by the Miami Hurricanes as Larry Coker goes sprinting to the middle of the field to uh, shake hands with and a, and a hug for Charlie Strong. So the final score Miami 27 and the Florida 10 coming up next on ESPN at Sports Center. Now for more log on to ESPN.com your home for college football on the Internet. And now for Mike Godfrey, Aaron Andrews, and our entire crew, I'm Ron Franklin. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Folks, we say Happy New Year for the year 2005 upcoming, and good night from Atlanta, Georgia, and the Georgia Dome. So long, everybody.